Okay. Um, you won't see this until probably like Wednesday. Afternoon. Let me turn those down. Methodical in his actions, there is no movement wasted in the ring. With strength, stamina, and shocking aerial skills, there's no telling what Dijak will hit you with next. He has been on a war path after his rebirth, and now he's fully unlocked his true self. Bringing his brand of justice to the WWE, and no one is safe from Dijak's wrath. Let's just continue this. I was hoping I can go live at 6 p.m. Then like five to six hours. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get Don't blame me, blame Spectra. It is like 11.40 p.m. and my internet is still not on when you say it's going to be on at 7.30. What? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on the 6 foot 7, 270 pound tower of power known as Dijak. Take notice, he thinks he has it. That's a close call. Taking him on, you have to take those strikes away. I'd recommend going after his core and draining his stamina. 
then he'll be unable to deliver attacks with full strength. That seems like a sound strategy against Nakamura taking away his strongest weapon. Now that'll do some serious damage. What? Two. Kicking out in time. And you gotta think he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Shinsuke is being carefully motioned now. Dijak applies the grip. We're going for a ride. Justice. Dijak is just. That's a good cover. Finishes. 